This is Ika B. And welcome to my unboxing. I am really lame. <laughs> Hi friends, Vika here. So a couple weeks ago, Book Outlet was having a sale and you know, I kind of went a little bit overboard. I have this massive box full of books. I couldn't wait, I already opened it, but I'm gonna just show you guys what I've got. Um, yeah, let's get started. My receipt, my receipts be looking like phone numbers, 3654. Yeah, whose ever phone number that is. I got your receipt. <laughs> okay. So this first book that I got I actually is the third book in a trilogy, and I had no intention of finishing this series. I was I got halfway through The Last Star, which is in the Fifth Wave series by Rick Yancey, and I just didn't care anymore. I had to return it to the library library. And um I didn't think I was gonna finish it, but this is was like a dollar and twenty cents. On book outlets so I was like <laughs> I'll get it I'll finish it just have the satisfaction of finishing a series it's it's a small price tag to put on the satisfaction of finishing a series you know what I mean oh there it's right next to its little brother um, <laughs> next book I got was the darkest minds by Alexandra Brocken all I know about this book is it's kind of like there's like a disease or something going around the world or the US and it's only infecting kids and what happens is they get superpowers from it. So all the people with superpowers, all the kids, they get placed into like a concentration camp type thing and yeah there's a movie and apparently it's terrible but the book is amazing so that's what I heard. Cool. Next book I got, I actually already read and reviewed The Thief. Um, I'll link that video, I'll, I'll put it up above or in my chat, whatever. And then I also, also got the second and third book. And I, not the second and third, I got the third and fourth book. I'm such a smarticle particle. So I got The Thief and then I got the like other books in the series to think, oh, I'm gonna read it. But I got the third and I got the fourth book. And then I read the synopsis in the third or the fourth one, I don't remember which one it was, and it spoiled me. First you spoil me and now this? You stay. So I got The King of Atolia and Conspiracy of Kings by Megan Whelan Turner. So those are all part of the same series. I had fun with the first book, so I figured I'd just continue it. Next book I got was The 100-Year-Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared. So what I know about this one is oh, by Jonas Jonasson. I don't think that's his real name, but Jonas Jonasson. And so 100 year old man who climbed out the window and disappeared is about a 100 year old man who gets put into a retirement home and for his birthday, on his 100th birthday, he decided he's had enough. He wants to go live life just a little bit more. So he climbs out his window and disappears and goes on another adventure. But the thing is his life's already full, has been full of adventure. He's had a full life. And so I think this reflects on that life as long as, as well as the day, I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't know, it has a good title. And so I was like, I was really intrigued. Will that fit? <gasps> no, not again. It fit, kind of. Uh, next book I got, I also didn't plan on reading, but I feel, I hear something falling. Okay, next book I got, I didn't plan on reading because I thought it was gonna be, it's part of a series, and the first book I just kind of enjoyed. I didn't, like I really, really enjoyed it, but I was like, I don't wanna continue this series. Like I have a lot of other books on my plate, and it's like, but I figured out it's just a duology, so it's just one more book. Like a one book commitment I can do, and it's really short, not really short, but comparatively short to the first book, and this is Ally by Anna Banks. Um, so the first book is called Nemesis, and what that's about is this, princess she has this ability where this like um, metal thing dispenses from her and she's able to form it and this has this metal thing it's not like metal it's like I guess it's metal whatever it has like lots of um, crazy properties like it's like an, an amazing like energy source and whatnot and so this country's main export is this 
thing that she dispenses from herself and she's basically a slave and a captive in her house because so everyone thinks that this thing is mined but it's not it comes from her so she's like the biggest secret in the kingdom and she's had enough she's fed up she runs away and she goes into a neighboring kingdom and she gets captured and she gets sent to a basically the palace <laughs> and uh, so as a result the kingdom has stopped exporting their goods and this is causing a lot of tension and so there's also secrets going on and she's a slave and whatever and it's really good and so I am um, it, it wasn't bad it was, it was just good you know and so this uh, is comes off where that first book ended which en ended on like a pretty big thing like I was like oh, okay where's this gonna go but I don't I'm not that invested in it and don't care enough, but it was on sale, so I got it. Um, next book I'm also super excited about is Sky by Neil Shusterman, and uh, everyone raves about this book. Like, I have literally not heard one negative thing about this. So, what this book is about, it takes place in the distant future where basically every single issue that humanity has right now has been resolved we have no more disease we have no more poverty we have no more hunger just everything has been solved but as a result we have no more death like people aren't dying anymore we found the solution to it and so in order to people die there's like it's just like set and contracted and the government decides it and how people and there are these people called skies and they go into training and they basically are the people who are going to kill you one day and so there's apparently like a lot of politics and political intrigue and whatnot in this and I'm really excited. I like books with political intrigue like it's I don't know it adds wittiness and humor and kind of just like um like a th almost a thriller without like all the the scary emotions. <laughs> I just like that stuff. I don't know why. Do you guys have something like you're a sucker for? Let me know in the comments below. Gotta drink my juice. Um, next, I got also a book that everyone raves about is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. And so what I know about this is um, there's this one professor. His name is Dr. Strange, I think. I'm, I, I, I'm not quite sure. And he is obsessed with this lost city of Weep. And Weep is like this old magical city. And it's been so forgotten and to the point that people forgot its name until one day... Uh, this whole caravan from the city of Weep comes and they're asking people to come with uh, them back with them and so this professor uh, scholar goes back with them and that uh, I have not read Lainey Taylor before but I heard her writing is like prose and like poetry and it just flows off the page and I really like beautiful writing and so I know I'm gonna love this book I don't know that's gonna fall and I know it. Next book I got was an impulse buy. I needed to like, I needed like two more dollars until I got free shipping. And so I got this book, Control by Lydia Kong Kang, and I know nothing about it. That is all I will say. Next, and not, and this is another dummy move on my part. So I saw this book on list and I was like hey that cover looks familiar I think I've read that and so I went on my goodreads and I was like oh I didn't read that book I read like the first book I think it was called defiance this is deliverance by CJ Redwine um for those interested and <sighs> guess what I bought the same thing that I did with this I bought the third book not the second book I have to buy another book and I don't know if I'm gonna like it like what if I don't like the second book and I don't want to read the third book you know like <sighs> But what Defiance was about, it was super fun. It was about a girl. She really wants to be a soldier and a warrior, but her father won't let her. And I think like women aren't allowed to. And so she basically cross dresses kind of like a Mulan thing and goes to school to train to be a, the like a warrior or whatnot. And the thing is one of the teachers or people there is like her childhood best friend and crush. So she's kind of like pretending to be someone else and hoping he doesn't discover her and it was a fun ride. <laughs> it's super cheesy, but like She's the Man is one of like the all time like greatest, funniest movies. I will always rewatch. I know it's based on Twelfth Night and whatnot by Shakespeare. I gotta read that, I guess, but uh, it was good. So if you like Mulan, you like Defiance, I think. And yeah, those are all the books I got. I have an issue. Do I care? Not really. <laughs> 
I, I'm not hurting anyone. I'd rather spend my money on this than some nonsense like, I don't know, what's $35? Like, what can I buy with that? I could buy a lot of groceries with that. Man. What's something like you'll drop heavy money on that people are like, you need to stop? No, let me know in the comments below. Um, have you read any of these books? Let me know. I've only read one of them, so. I. So yeah, those are the books that I bought. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope I enjoy all of these books. And so yeah, I will see you guys all soon. Bye. I'm pretty sure this is going to be up before Valentine's Day, or not Valentine's Day, so... Happy Valentine's Day, friends. I stay safe out there. Bye.